week we're talking about double-breasted jackets. Double-breasted jackets have just been naff for ages. There's no nice way of putting this. They've always been a bit cruise ship carvery for as long as anyone can remember. But this year they are coming back out of the fashion wilderness. There are two very fashion reasons for this. The first is the new influence of menswear on women's wear, especially in British fashion. We've got menswear catwalk shows in London now, and that's influencing what designers are designing for women. And men have always worn double-breasted. Look at Prince Charles. The second reason is that double-breasted jackets are really good for shoulder roving. As in, you can put them over your shoulders, you don't have to put your arms in the sleeves and they don't fall off. If both those reasons just sound totally ridiculous, there is a third one, which is quite a good reason, which is that they're actually really cosy and quite a good thing to wear at this time of year. This jacket I'm wearing here is by Jack Wills and it's quite a classic double-breasted peacoat. But most of the double-breasted jackets that you'll see in fashion this spring are kind of a bit jazzy. For instance, this one from J. Crew, which has a very bold red and navy tartan design and then just a really simple double-breasted boxy shape. This one from Jaeger, very classic double-breasted shape but we've got leather on the collar here and on the pocket trim and on the cuffs which just makes it a little bit more rock and roll than your average double-breasted jacket. The leather trim is a popular motif in the new double-breasted. You have a sleeve here on this Miss Selfridge coat and then the last coat which is from Next which is a kind of double-breasted update on the princess coats, which were the high street staple coat for several seasons, given a bit more gravitas and a bit more warmth with the arrival of double-breastedness. So from the cruise ship carvery to fashion's top table, double-breasted is back. Yeah.